Good morning, children. Welcome to another session of our distance learning. I'm Shailaja from Shet Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Today's subject, English. Poetry, Class 7th, Lesson 2.1. Topic, From a Railway Carriage. Before I begin, Lesson number 1.5, Seeing Eyes Helping Hands, is purely for your comprehensions for the exam and 1.6 lesson is a collage it's an activity based lesson which you'll be doing in your project books when you get it from school that we will be discussing later today's topic from a railway carriage written by rl stevenson here he discusses or shares his experience of a railway journey with us Robert Louis Stevenson was born on 13 November 1850 in Scotland. He was a famous novelist, poet and travel writer. Some of his notable works are Treasure Island, A Child's Garden of Verses. He died on 3rd December 1894, age 44. Here I have given you glossary or the meanings children. So just go through before you begin with the actual poem. From a Railway Carriage, written by R.L. Stevenson. Faster than ferries, faster than witches. Bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. And charging along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle. The poet describes many scenes from the window of a railway carriage. He says that the trains run faster, even faster even than the magical creatures like we have fairies, witches. Fairies and witches, they have magical powers. So even faster than that. He says bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. The horses and cattle in the meadows seem to rush away as if they were soldiers on a battlefield. So they were rushing, they rushed away just like soldiers on the battlefield. Next, all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. The train passes hills and plains. The sights there fly away so quickly, fly away as thick as heavy rain. So it is compared to heavy rain. Now and again painted stations pass by even before one can wink. Wink means a second of closing and opening your eye. <clears throat> As the train passes these stations, the whistle of the engine is heard. You can hear the engine's whistle that is so quick. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tram who stands and gazes and there is the green fur stringing the daisies. Suddenly one child, all by himself, climbing with difficulty and gathering bushes with blackberries, he sees it. Then one might see a jobless person standing and gazing, just looking at continuously. Gazing means looking at continuously standing, a person who is jobless. This will be followed by green grass which children use to string daisies. So the children they use the grass to string the daisies to put the flowers on the string of grass the daisies. Daisies means flowers which have they have the white petals and yellow center. So next here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and load 
And here is a mill and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever. Now, one sees a cart running away in the road, moving in jerks, as it carries man and load. Then, one spots a mill followed by a river. You can see that a mill is there beside a river. Each sight is seen for a very short time, just for a few seconds. And then it is gone forever. It is not going to come back again. Here, I have given you the figures of speech children antithesis, which we are doing uh, the new one in this uh, poem. When two opposite words or ideas are used in the same line for better effect or for better poetic effect, it is called antithesis. For example, speech is silver but silence is gold. Man proposes, God disposes. Just the opposite words in the same line, it's called antithesis. Children, I have given the summary here for your better understanding. Just give a reading. Exercises. Write the rhyming words and rhyme scheme of the poem. Rhyme scheme we have done last year. What are the sights seen through a railway carriage mentioned in the stanzas? First, second, third. Name the figures of speech and explain them. In the poem it is given. The first In the first stanza you can see. Faster than fairies, faster than witches. Here, the word faster is repeated for more poetic effect. So it is repeated. So it is repetition. Second one. The opposite words fairies and witches are used in the same line for better poetic effect. So here it is antithesis. Next, revise the poem and complete the exercises of the workbook. So until our next session, happy learning. Thank you.